I was also preparing. I joined the speed for the first time in 2022. So speed is there. So I would like to thank each and every one of them who have always been a motivation and support, sir. So I I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of the entire speed faculty members and team of speed uh, to Dr. Sushobhan Rai for scoring rank number two in head and neck MCH head and neck surgery for head and neck oncology in SS session. Super speciality, neat SS 2024. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much, sir. Great. Now it's great to have you here with us, and and we wish to know to detail background history from where you started till date. What all you have done? Yes. Sir. Uh, I'm Dr. Sushobhan Roy. Uh, I'm from uh, Bongaigao. Uh, it's a small town in Assam. Currently, I'm based in uh, Guwahati. I've uh, done my MBBS from Assam Medical College, Tiprugar. I've done my uh, MS in ENT from Guwahati Medical College. And then uh, I've gotten into uh, a fellowship in Hednek Oncology from State Cancer Institute, Guwahati. And I just finished in the December. And then uh, I sat for this exam. Uh, uh, this uh, NEET PG 2024 and uh, I cracked it this time, sir. Excellent, doctor. Great accomplishment and your journey is very focused and clear that you want to go to the superficiality. Yes. And, and uh, can we know why your interest was towards uh, head and neck oncology, superficiality? What made you, who inspired you to do so? Because most of the yes. people can settle with TNT also. Yes. So, uh, first of all, I'll take two names. Uh, one is uh, Dr. Jyoti Moy Fukon and second is Dr. Medul Sharma. Both uh, of them uh, were my professors uh, when I was posted as a PG uh, in the department of ENT. Uh, when I saw them work, I uh, probably I've, I've seen uh, the first head neck experience in my life. Uh, I've seen uh, Fukons are doing uh, a, a laryngectomy. And uh, I was so inspired uh, looking at the uh, intricacy of the surgery that he had done that uh, I, at that time I decided that uh, I have to do this sometime in my life. Uh, and uh, that was my focus always and always I have been. Uh, later on, I joined uh, uh, my fellowship under Mirzul Sarma sir only. And he has always uh, been a great support and a motivator. Even uh, uh, in the times when it was difficult for me to cope up with everything. Uh, sir, actually, this is my third attempt. Uh, in 2022, uh, after uh, I finished my PG, uh, that was my first attempt. Uh, I got 19th rank, but I didn't take up a seat. Uh, and then uh, I had to do something with head neck. So I went on to uh, do the fellowship in uh, state cancer. Uh, uh, at that time, uh, due to residency and all, again, I uh, sat for the exam in 2023, but my rank dropped to 62. And uh, then I thought, ki, mm, I have to have a clear mind. I have to study without any other distractions. So I sat for this exam. My uh, fellowship ended uh, in December. And then I got three months in my hand. I haven't joined anything. I joined, uh, recently opened a medical college here. But the work was uh, less. So I could focus this time. And uh, this time uh, my rank came second. Very good. Great. And uh, can we know what is the time that is spent? I mean, uh, how were you able to make your time? I mean, was it a full-time, part-time? I mean, uh, can we know uh, what all went into this preparation strategy? How you were able to prepare? How much of videos or how much of GT you gave? Those minor details. Okay, sir. <laughs> sir, uh, in 2022, uh, I was uh, doing my senior residency uh, from a medical college here in Assam. And uh, I was also preparing. I joined the Speed for the first time in 2022. And it was very new to me and uh, I had very less guidance uh, as to how to uh, proceed with uh, uh, preparing for, for this MCH exam. Uh, at that time, uh, it was a part-time job. I had to do uh, my duties in the day and at the night I would do uh, Tejasar's classes. And uh, that was my very first experience. And then uh, when I got into fellowship, uh, again, it was the same thing. I could not uh, do uh, like full-time preparation. Uh, in the daytime, uh, uh, I would have to do uh, my residency jobs and all. And then in the nighttime only, I would get like three or four hours. Uh, but uh, then I thought ki full time is very, very necessary. If you have to uh, get uh, into such a, into such, uh, uh, into a good rank and such a competitive exam, uh, you'll have to put minimum 10 to 12 hours a day, especially for uh, those who are preparing for the first time. So this time I could get three months in my hand. I prepared full, full throttle and uh, I could crack this time, sir. 
very good great now how many questions you attended this exam sir uh, i left six questions okay and that was 144 questions that uh, i had attempted so what will be your advice for the future aspirants of uh, mca chedana oncology uh my uh, since uh, uh, i've seen the graph since the last 3 years i've seen the cutoffs are getting higher by the day so you need to start early and you need to focus and most importantly the thing that i had faced in last 3 years is you need to take care of your mental health your physical health because everyone else is studying everyone is studying everyone is at the same level sir uh but those uh, who can think clearly and properly at the day of exam those who are having very good night sleep or who are eating healthy they will outperform others because ultimately sir everyone is preparing at the same level correct okay so, now i tend to thank men who all help you you want from day on till date for your day who have helped you you can this opportunity and the part of the first of all uh, i would uh, thank uh, you sir dr teja and team at, for guiding me because uh, i had no option like no uh, who would guide me there so speed is there always from 2022 and uh, i'll take this again dr jyoti dr medhu sharma and uh, i have also uh, met recently dr uh, uh, ashok das sir he is uh, uh, the uh, head of the head neck uh, bbci guwahati sir has also motivated me and all other hods uh, under whom i have worked so i would like to thank each and every one of them and my colleagues who have always been a motivation and support sir great doctor and it's great uh, discussing with you and interacting with you for a you, beautiful journey that you undergone you shared your experiences with us it will be useful for many yes. once again thank wish you all sir. the very best and all the success for a great career in mch dental oncology thank you sir thank you